And hello to you all and welcome to another video, another ship video. So thank you for joining us as we look out for two Algoma ships uh, coming down, sorry, going up the canal. Uh, two Algomas, we got the Algoma Mariner, uh, a former uh, Salty, and also behind that, directly behind it, is Algoma Sioux. And uh, they're going to be coming through here, the, uh, the lock here, which is lock number eight. So I'm on, I'm on the north side of lock eight. And I'll be turning the camera around shortly, but we're going to check these two ships as they come in. So it's a two ship video. Let's enjoy it. Now, as you can see from the drone shots with the drone in the air right now, you got the Mariner, the Sioux, the Sioux, I should say. And uh, in the distance going away now is the uh, G3. Uh, it'll come back to me in a minute. Well, anyway, there, that is it. And uh, as we get a closer look, we'll uh, go into detail of what we can see about this ship. Now, as you can see, the lift bridge is open and awaiting her arrival into lock number eight here on the Welland Canal. Well, as you can tell from uh, how high she's sitting, she's uh, empty. Uh, the Algoma Mariner typically carries a variety of dry bulk goods, which mainly include uh, iron ore, coal, grain, and salt, uh, the salt that's usually used for de-icing roads during the winter and other applications. She also carries uh, aggregates as well, such as crushed stone and gravel uh, that's used in construction. Anyway, she's on her way to Nanticoke, and usually I thought ships go there to drop off. Now she's just passing the uh, chemical tanker, Algo Berta. But the Algoma Mariner is now just gently gliding right past her. And now coming to view is the Algoma Sioux. The Algoma Mariner was constructed at the Shengzi shipyard in Yangyan, China. The shipyard is known for its expertise in building vessels and it played a crucial role in bringing the Algoma Mariner to life. The vessel is designed as a Seaway Max carrier. She is specifically tailored to navigate through the St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes. Since its delivery to Algoma Central Corporation in 2011, the Algoma Mariner has been an essential part of the Canadian fleet. Algoma Central Corporation took delivery of the Algoma Mariner on May 31, 2011, and it's noted it was the first new Canadian flag vessel on the Great Lakes in 25 years. The Algoma Mariner is a self-unloading dry bolt carrier which was designed by Delta Marin. Her overall length is 225.56 meters, which is 740 feet. Her beam is approximately 23.74 meters, which is 77 feet 11 inches. And she has a depth of 15 meters, 49 feet and three inches. Her gross tonnage is 24,535.
Nice tight squeeze for you there. That is the uh, Agulma Mariner squeezing into log number eight. And just coming down the canal right now is the Algoma Sioux. So we're going to get two for the price of one. The weather's beautiful. Let's enjoy it. And it won't take long for the, uh, the mariner to get through here because this is actually quite a quick lock. It only, it only moves a few feet. It's, it's not much. It's just getting that last bit in. Now she's in the lock, the lift bridge will come down to allow the traffic to start uh, traveling behind her. And once she's perfectly in the lock, the lock gate will close and then the water will raise by a few feet, not much. And then she'll slip out on the other side. And then in a few minutes after that, the other one will come in. Right, there goes the uh, safety arm, the barrier, to protect the, uh, the lock gates in case the, the ship decides to go backwards or forwards. In this case, it'd be backwards. That's in place. And it's only a matter, that's literally, that'll be out of here in like five minutes. And behind me, there she is. Part of the Equinox class of ships that Algoma have. She's very quiet uh, com in comparison to the Mariner that just came through. Just a very slight hum, but I'm still being drowned out by the Mariner, which is behind me, as you can hear. The noise you're overhearing right now is actually the Mariner. She's probably further away from me now than this one is. The Algoma suit, um, empty, as you can tell, sitting very high up. And she's on her way to Thunder Bay. Now starting to hear the bow thrusters. I can see the bubbles on the, uh, the port side. A little bit of a wake there, disturbing. There we go, on the, on the starboard side now, just at the front. She now needs to push herself closer to that wall and onto these wooden tracks and just push herself right down there, just use that as a guide uh, into the canal. Just give you a perspective of what's going on here. The other one's still there. She uh, looks like she should be on the move. I think she's moving. This is the Algoma Su. Uh, she was constructed at the Mingdi Heavy Industry Shipyard in Nantong, China. She was delivered to Algoma in 2018. She belongs to the Equinox class of ships. Her overall length is 225.6 meters, which is 740 feet and two inches, with a beam of 23.8 meters, 78.1 feet. Her draft is 14.7 meters, which is 48.2 feet, with her gross tonnage being 23,895.
but as you can see, she's just creeping in still. Uh, no alarm for the bridge has gone off. Uh, Mariner has now exited. Uh, the safety uh, barrier has gone back up. So I'd imagine any second now that alarm's going to go off for the bridge. And just watching the, uh, the nose of the bow there. And uh, she's definitely coming to a stop, trying to hold herself back. While we await the lift bridge going up. We have a bridge up. So she's got the all clear any second now to go through. There you have it, that is it from Port Coburn for today. Two ships, two Algomas, and two ships making their way out onto Lake Erie. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you very soon. Until the next video, stay safe. Take care.